Oops, I cut it off accidentally. There's a good example of a contrail right now. You can see in the upper left hand part of the screen, there's a jet. The jet's flying along, it's creating a contrail. I'm gonna have to get back in the shade so this light thing quits jumping around. But it's creating a contrail that's dissipating. These other things that are in the sky appear to be contrails, but they're not. Something has been sprayed. There's a good example of them right there. You can see just on the horizon, there's one, two, three, four, four separate streams of that stuff. And that's what people are saying is the aerosol that's been sprayed since the early 90s when people started documenting it, trying to find out what it is. See, that's, that's what happens when they spray this aerosol fungus into the air and then back again I'm going to go to a normal contrail you see the jet flying along there the jet's flying along and the trail's dissipating behind the jet so that's what we're looking at here it's, it's getting sprayed we're getting sprayed today high altitude uh, aerosol. Uh, there's an excellent, uh, uh, there's a really excellent uh, movie on right now. It's on PrisonPlanet.tv. If you go to the bottom of the screen and look through all the movies, it's about aerosol spraying. And uh, this guy made this documentary, and he's found people that were able to analyze it and they can tell you uh, pretty much what was in it. They can't tell you exactly what was in it, but they can tell you it is harmful to human beings as well as plant life, I think. Uh, there's a lot of heavy metals in it, among them aluminum. And uh, they say aluminum can permeate the uh, blood-brain barrier. And, and thankfully there was a doctor that he had um, that's also on part of the program that will tell you what you can do to defend yourself against this type of thing uh, to boost your immune system because all this is targeted at our immune system as human beings and uh, we don't know who's doing it but it's been going on for at least 10 years um, this is 2011 and uh, his movie was made his documentary was made in 1990 and uh, nobody in our government is doing anything about it the Environmental Protection Agency is denying it, and uh, somebody's trying to kill us all. There's no, there's no good reason to be spraying anything in our atmosphere, none whatsoever. This is just a little short clip, and uh, I'm just trying to spread the word. So if you, if you can use this clip, uh, by all means, take it and use it. Uh, you know, embed it on your website or whatever you have to do. It's perfectly okay with me. And uh, like I said, to the uh, north of me, is, the sky's pretty blue, it's pretty clear. So all the spraying today, I first noticed this today about 8.30 when I was going out to apply for some jobs. And, uh, and it's, it's really, I'm going to try to zoom in on this. It's got to be like 20, 25,000 feet high. Um, I was a weatherman in the Navy. I was aerographer's mate. I was stationed aboard the USS Ranger. And I know the difference between a contrail and this thing here, whatever it is. It's not a contrail. Uh, like I said, these are 25, 30,000 feet high. And if you can see how, if it starts out like a line there and starts to spread as that then it's really going to give us full coverage man and uh it's it's slowly it's slowly yet progressively invading the sky and since it's a solid it's going to start uh, working its way down to the ground probably over the course of the next few days and we're all going to get dosed with it whatever it is we're going to breathe it in and uh it's not good clean healthy oxygen i know that much so you know that's what i'm doing here with my life trying to get the message out, whatever I can do. Thanks for watching.